In many parts of the country, corn harvest is in full swing. Not long after, cows will be headed out to the remaining stocks. We find that corn stock grazing is, is a valuable resource for our cow-calf producers. One, it does a pretty good job of supplying nutrients to that uh, mid to late, st late gestating beef cow. The other thing is, I'd say, is that it's, it's pretty cost effective. It's important to monitor the availability of stocks and to not overstock the fields. Rasby reminds cattlemen that a cow's nutrient requirement increases from mid to late gestation and then is highest between calving and the start of the next breeding season. Cattlemen can use a simple tool to ensure the herd's needs are being met. Well, well I think one of the best management practices that cow-calf producers can use is, is condition scoring their cows. And as we transition here from fall into winter, especially for spring calving cows, paying close attention to body condition is, is really important. Because body condition not only has an impact on what happens at the time of calving, but body condition at the time of calving also impacts how, how quickly those cows are going to uh, rebreed during that next breeding season. Nutrition affects more than just the results at preg checking time, though. Nebraska work shows that calves whose dams were protein supplemented the last 90 days of gestation have increased carcass quality. There seems to be an impact of how you might nutritionally manage a female's the last 90 days of gestation, and it does appear to have an impact on, on how well uh, some of those progeny perform in the feedlot. All important considerations as ranchers make cow herd plans this fall and winter.